Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a bootable Linux USB using Rufus on a Windows PC. Whether you want to install Linux or run it live without installation, this guide will walk you through the process step by step. Let's get started. First things first, you'll need to download the Linux distribution you want to use. Head over to the official website of the Linux distro you're interested in. For this tutorial, I'll be using Ubuntu as an example. Once you're on the site, download the ISO file for the version you want. Make sure to save the ISO file somewhere you can easily find it, like your downloads folder. Next, we need to download Rufus. Rufus is, is a free open source tool that makes creating bootable USB drives a breeze. Go to rufus.ie, scroll down, and download the latest version of Rufus. Once the download is complete, you don't even need to install Rufus. It's a portable application. Just double click the executable file to open it. Now grab a USB drive with at least four gigabytes of storage, though I recommend eight gigabytes or more to be safe. Plug it into your computer. With Rufus open, it should automatically detect your USB drive. If you have multiple drives connected, make sure to select the correct one. From the drop-down menu, I have already plugged in one myself, and it says Zach, and it is 16 gigabytes. Next, click the Select button next to Boot Selection, and choose the Linux ISO file you downloaded earlier. I have already done so myself, and it now says Ubuntu 24.04 in the Boot Selection. Rufus will automatically configure the rest of the settings for you. Volume label, you can rename this if you want. Once everything looks good, click the Start button. Rufus will warn you that all data on the USB drive will be destroyed. Make sure you've backed up any important files on the drive, then click OK to proceed. Now sit back and let Rufus do its thing. This process usually takes a few minutes depending on the speed of your USB drive and the size of the ISO file. Once Rufus is done, you'll have a bootable Linux USB drive. To use it, restart your computer and boot from the USB drive. You may need to enter your BIOS or UEFI settings and change the boot order to prioritize the USB drive. And that's it. You're now ready to try out or install Linux on your computer. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Until next time, happy computing.